problems, long-term problems could be because it is a state where the estrogen hormone is uh, as a baseline and tonically raised. So it can lead to continuous stimulation of the lining of the womb and it gets thickened. So it can lead to heavy menstrual periods, but it can also lead to some cellular changes within the lining of the womb, which could be precancerous or in very, very few cases, it could lead to cancer as well in the long term. Again, due to the same reason, due to raised estrogen female hormone, it can sometime lead to a breast problem, which could be cancer of the breast in the long term. Um, again, uh, the hormonal problem in polycystic ovary is basically related to mainly insulin resistance. So insulin is a growth hormone in the body, um, and if the tissues are resistant to it, it cannot do its proper action, which is to push the main energy source, glucose, into the cells so that cells can utilize that glucose to uh, produce energy. And if the tissues and cells are resistant, then as a compensatory mechanism, there is more insulin secreted. And because insulin is a growth hormone, it can lead to weight gain. It can lead to more hunger. It can lead to more fat deposition. And because it is a stress on the carbohydrate metabolism, patient can manifest changes of carbohydrate intolerance and diabetes mellitus. So diabetes mellitus, endometrial lining of the thick thick lining and cancer of the womb or cancer of the breast. Uh, also, because patient is overweight, they're struggling with fertility sometimes, they have got menstrual cycle problems, so their mental health, health gets affected and they, it can lead to depression, poor self-esteem um, and things like that. So these are long-term issues.